think darkness is your ally. You merely adopted the dark. I was born in it, molded by it. I didn't see the light until I was already a man. By then, it was nothing to me but blind. <laughs> Those ants talking about. Should I do a vlog today? Yeah, let's do a vlog today. All right, morning, everybody. Let's see what happens today. It's been a little while since I've done a vlog, so uh, we got two left on the trailer. That video from yesterday, the one with the hail damage, two things with that. Um, one, I got so busy recording that just to, to document the damage, but then I goofed off and posted it on Instagram and actually did a YouTube short on it about uh, the, um, the, anyway, the hail damage, and I, I had the, the hell and all song on there. <laughs> I got a copyright claim on that, which isn't bad. It's not a strike. It just means I can't monetize the video, which is fine. It was just a short video for fun. But uh, number two, um, totally forgot to take the, the picture. I, I try to take a picture of all my basically direction loads anyway and post them on Instagram. So uh, completely got to do that. I delivered uh, the middle one yesterday. So we're just left with two today, but we've got two to, or three to pick up today. So let's get this morning started and uh, grab some coffee, grab some fuel, and head to deliver these two. And uh, then we'll be on our way to pick up the three, and they're headed to St. Louis, which I'm in, I'm in uh, Cedar Rapids right now, Iowa. So let's jump into that. hail damage escape funny thing about this escape this thing only has 5200 miles on it sad all right now we got all that done we're ready to go got our coffee gonna be a good day gonna try to make this a good day i'm trying to think of what all has happened since the last time I, basically i guess the last video i did was the big trip that i took out west um as far as the you know the driving aspect of stuff i have put out other stuff since then but uh, it's been a minute since I've done a vlog, and uh, family really likes the vlog, so figure we'll we'll give today a whirl. My wife actually booked some fire um, coming out of here uh, after we get rid of these two that I've got. Uh, we got three to pick up. Now, what's funny is <laughs> we've got three to pick up, and they all go to St. Louis. All they all deliver to different people. They're all booked through different uh, brokers. One thing that was in common and the first two were kind of funny um the pickup address was the same they all came out of the same city so we thought that was pretty sweet come to find out once we book everything because you can't really see the the specifics you just see city and state you don't know the addresses or the locations until you actually book the load but all three of these cars pick up from the same dealership it's pretty funny yeah come to find out they all pick up in one spot uh total it's uh they pick up in moline illinois right outside of Davenport. It's actually just right across the river. And they all go to St. Louis, kind of in a chain, um, all along really the north side off the bypass. So it's pretty easy to get to up there. So we got all these going up here and then uh, she she wanted to book them up. She said that the rate was really good. And uh, we ended up doing the math on it. It's uh, 332 miles what we're dragging this stuff down here for. So it's literally 200. Uh, so it's, it's gonna tally up to be I don't know the exact number. I might pop it up here, but I think it's like nine, 930, 930 bucks for uh, 270 miles. Not shabby. That'd be a good day's work. Especially since they're all picking up at one spot. It's gonna be sweet. But uh, aside from that, 
not much happening. There's a lot, there's a lot getting talked about right now and a lot going through my mind about what I'm going to do or what I, what I intend to do uh, here shortly in the future. And, um, uh, been really thinking about that a lot. Um, not, not anything to do with the channel or nothing like that, but, uh, as far as work goes, but as of right now, it, it's been stupid consistent and there's a reason for that. There, um, new inventory for these dealerships are really hard to get. So they're having to buy a lot of used vehicles. I don't know if you've seen any of the mailers and all that. There's some truth in them. Most of them are crap though, uh, about the, uh, you know, the dealership saying that they're, they'll pay whatever for your trade in and all that crap. Like they do really need vehicles <laughs> because, um, even used are coming uh, when they're buying these, uh, used vehicles from dealerships or from auction. I mean, they're, they're basically paying retail for them. So, if you've got a used vehicle, it is actually a really good time to get rid of it because you, you might actually get what it's worth, um, or right at it. You're not, you're probably not going to get beat up too bad on it, but, uh, that's the reason. And there was a train going by. Um, uh, when I was, I was at a, a really big dealership in St. Louis the other day, and, um, I was talking to the, the sales manager there while we were waiting for the vehicle that I was going to pick up to get ready. And uh, he said that uh, as far as new inventory goes for them, this was a Chevy dealership. He said they usually have anywhere between 230 to 260 cars on the lot, new inventory. They got 16 right now. And that's it. And it's not because they're all getting bought. It's because they can't get any. So a lot of these dealerships right now, if, you, if you'll drive around and look, most of their inventory is used vehicles. And most of their inventory is a, a range of used vehicles, you know, so at a Chevy dealership, you know, you got all the makes and models, same things at, at like a Toyota dealership, you know, they're going to have uh, a lot of domestics, a lot of imports, so a whole lot, just whatever they can find right now uh, that they can, that they can turn, they're going to try to get a hold of. So that's it. And because of that high demand, because of that sense of urgency of uh, cars are paying very well right now. And will that last? I hope so. You know, it's kind of, it's, they're not really paying very well. They're paying very fair, finally. Um, it's, you're not, it's not a lot of negotiation having to go on. A lot of the price points that I see on the on the board right now, that I search for anyway, um, are, are basically what I would price a car at. That's pretty good, considering uh, it's, been, it's been a really good year. I haven't really worked a lot. Um, but as far as the things that, <laughs> that I'm talking about needing to do in the future here, I, I probably will uh, be out a little bit more, you know, pulling in some revenue uh, to, to make plans and shake hands here in the future. So we'll see what happens with that. I don't want to let too many ideas out just because as of right now, they are ideas, but I am looking at uh, potentially doing a few things that will lead up to future things. So we're almost to DeWitt, Iowa to drop off these two vehicles. Funny thing about this Escape that's got all the hail damage on the very front, the orange one. Uh, I'll show y'all when, when I get out of here. <laughs> it's a it's sad situation. It honestly is, but you know, what can you do about weather? Oh, and, and for that video, no, this that, that hail damage didn't happen uh, with me. It, it was both of those cars were like that when I picked them up. They both came from different locations. So apparently either recently or at some point, you know, uh, Omaha, Nebraska got peppered with hell pretty hard. <laughs> Big, strong, damaging hell. So anyway, we'll shoot up here and uh, jump into DeWitt, grab, throw these two off of here. And I will see y'all on the way to Moline, Illinois. Darkness is your ally. You merely adopted the dark. I was born in it, molded by it. I didn't see the light until I was already a man. By then, it was nothing to me but bright. <laughs> oh, 
ants talking about? Well, that sucks. Oh well. Things don't always go perfect. Yeah. See if we can get up here, I'll show you what I was talking about with this uh, Ford Escape. Move my ramps over. good all down the root line even on the edge of the doors even the chrome trim got some of it it's bad it's bad yeah this thing obviously totaled that's why it was at the insurance auction shot the hood again that's just one side of it show you the worst thing about it all right there 5200 miles <laughs> all right let's get it off here all right that was quick and easy got two off got paid cod so let's uh, put all the straps up, pack the ramps in, get turned around in here, and we'll head to Moline, and I will see y'all there. Yeah, all right, now we're in Moline. Went ahead and got all our keys here. And uh, now let's go find them. We got an 18 Camry, a 19 Ridgeline, I bet that's it right there. Camry's probably this one. We got an O2 Caravan to find. Shouldn't be too hard. I think it's actually right over there. You can't see that. Okay. Let's match our bins up. Let's see. Yep. Here's our camera. Let's see if this dude starts. Oh, it's so hot. Sweet. Don't have to jump that one. I get that air going. It's hot. Oh wait, here's a ridge line. Got a 19 lens in 070. B046070. Alright, yeah, here's our ridge line. Oops. I got all these locked up. This one starts. All in one app and online. Start. <laughs> Red sign's dead. All right, that's cool. Anyway, found it. Cool. Now let's go get that caravan. These actually drop off in order. I'm gonna put the Camry up front, caravan in the middle, ridgeline on the back. We'll drop off reverse, ridgeline, caravan, and Camry. That don't usually happen. Usually gotta play musical cars. Not today. Crank this dude up. Has to be it. <laughs> we see many go to can. Check it in. Yeah, I just think it feels like 
158,000. It starts. We're going to use this to go get to go get our jump box for that ridge line. Ooh, brakes were seized up. <laughs> this is terrible. I mean, what a quality vehicle. Oh, here, I don't know if you're gonna pick that out. This thing's making a nasty noise in the back. Woo. air going in here. We'll jump this ridge line. And I'm gonna pop my pictures. Do my inspections. We'll load these dudes up. Okay, ridge line wasn't dead. Uh, apparently you just gotta be sitting in the seat to start it. I just leaned over the seat, pushed the brake in. Hit the button, but that's not the case on those, so okay. Now we'll tighten these down, go get our signatures, uh, give this key box back to them that they left on the window, and uh, we'll be rolling to St. Louis. we didn't make the cutoff to deliver the last one uh, which is fine though because my next two pickups are right here on the northwest side of st louis anyway uh, which i actually am this is my favorite place to be right there at cabela's so i'll come here instead not gonna hurt my feelings any and uh, we'll just shoot this off in the morning probably while i'm waking up <laughs> just drinking coffee go ahead and drop this off and then pick up our next ones and uh, i'll be headed to the house this week but just wanted to get a vlog in haven't done a vlog in a while kind of enjoyed it today caught a lot of rain uh got pulled over on the side of the road by the police <laughs> but that all went good they didn't even do an inspection uh, they saw the so i posted it on instagram and uh so i said have your binders you know i, I did make a video i'll link up to it now you know the paperwork that you're going to need and how to have it organized when they had my id 
and my registration binder, you know, everything in it. Uh, they didn't even do an inspection. They just said to keep doing what I'm doing and uh, handed it all back and have a good one. So that worked out fine. So anyway, uh, we'll cut this off here. I'll go ahead and edit this, but I'm probably going to go browse Cabela's for a while. Anyway, as I'm shut down, and uh, we'll see you guys next time.